Hello, I'm Transportation Secretary Tim Gatz. Thank you for joining us to learn the story behind Oklahoma's first diverging diamond interchange. The $16 million project to replace two structurally deficient bridges on State Highway 6 over Interstate 40 in Elk City began last spring with a design not previously seen on any other Oklahoma roadway. While it's new to Oklahoma, the modern diverging diamond interchange is now in use across the country with increased traffic safety, especially in areas with high volumes of truck traffic like I-40 and State Highway 6. This interchange design temporarily moves traffic to the left side of the road at a signalized crossover to allow for direct left turn movements that do not cross oncoming traffic. Through traffic is then directed back to the right side of the road at a second signal. These features increase safety and efficiency for drivers entering and exiting the interstate, as well as for those who are traveling straight through on State Highway 6. It may seem counterintuitive at first, but the beauty of this design is that it eliminates many traffic conflict points, making it safer for every driver who travels through this interchange. While the public has been driving the redesigned interchange since mid-September, today marks the full completion of the project, including final installation of the unique artwork contributed by the City of Elk City. This project has made the most of ODOT resources from start to finish. It was brainstormed and overseen by ODOT personnel in District 5, including Bryn Omquist and Elk City's own Will Snipes. I would like to thank our Roadway and Bridge Divisions for their design work as well as our staff in Clinton for their efforts. We would also like to recognize the contractor, Frontier Bridge Incorporated, for being a great partner throughout this process. We cannot say enough about how much we appreciate our legislative and local partners. We especially want to thank the City of Elk City for its unwavering support and participation in this unique project. The department's priority is always to use the tools at its disposal to improve safety and usability on our state highway system. Innovative and proven designs like the diverging diamond interchange will help benefit motorists and help move goods across our state. Elk City is, you know, located essentially 40 miles uh, from the Texas Panhandle on I-40. With I-40 coming through town, um, kind of being one of the main stays between Oklahoma City and Amarillo, um, that thoroughfare of I-40 and the traffic there really gives us an advantage that some of the other smaller cities don't see. With the DDI, that, that project, the planning phases of that were well underway um, when I took office, but they had uh, just started construction. So my involvement has been really seeing the project to fruition. Um, a lot of the aesthetic aspects of it um, with some of the uh, more ornamental elements, the, the diamonds, the um, the rock cladding and that kind of things. Uh, we've also got some neat light features with uh, the oil derrick designs and things like that. If you're traveling I-40, uh, you should see an extremely well lit exchange there, um, which I think is important. Uh, lighting, um, safety, things of that nature, that's what draws people off of the interstate. So you'll see nice lighting. The uh, oil derricks do have color changing lights. Um, which is kind of just a neat thing to draw people's eyes um, and possibly their business uh, into our town. Um, outside of that, we've also got some elk statues um, and things like that. It's Elk City, so <laughs> we live and die with that um, out here. Uh, there's also quite a bit of rock uh, form work, which was done, which we had helped with, as well as um, some antlers on the slope walls there, uh, which I think all, when you see it all together, it, it really makes a nice exchange. From a plan view, to, to see it on plan, it was really kind of hard to uh, fathom how it was going to work. Um, I was here early this morning and I drove the design, so it is different. Uh, and sometimes people are a little hesitant about, thing, about change and things that are different. But as I see it, it seems very functional. It seems safer than it was before. They've got pedestrian access that wasn't a part of what we had before, so all those things are win-win as far as I'm concerned. 
I think these two bridges back in 2015, I believe, were put on the uh, deficient, structurally deficient bridge project. So that was in two, 2015. Something had to be done at that point, so the bridge project needed to happen, and it did happen. So um, with that, that led to this collaboration between the city of Elk City and ODOT. Infrastructure is something we have to stay on top of. If we neglect it, then at some point that's going to hit us in the face, and we're going to have to have a huge investment at some time. So these types of investment, not just in my district, but all across the state, have to be ongoing, because if we don't stay on top of them, things don't get cheaper. Construction prices don't go down, so if we neglect these things, as they need maintenance or as they need improvement, then we're looking at a larger bill at some point in the future. So it has to be ongoing. The state has to continue to invest in these types of infrastructure improvements. So it's good to see this type of investment uh, in the state, in, in specifically in my district, but in the state. It needs to continue to happen. Oh, it's incredibly exciting. I, I think it was a little intimidating when people were first hearing about it because they just couldn't wrap their head around what, what it really was going to be. But, but this has turned out to be a great project, uh, so impressive and, uh, and looks really good for the state of Oklahoma and, and really excited for this for, to be in western Oklahoma and certainly me being the uh, subcommittee chair in transportation appropriations and budget, I'm thrilled to death to have it in my district and, and see it be a, a part of western Oklahoma. I got to say the first time uh, I, I actually kind of followed the traffic and went through and it was really really easy. It was surprising to me that it was so simple and uh, it's like, you know, the first time you get through it, you kind of got it and uh, it, it works really well. Uh, I think one of the most positive features of this design for Western Oklahoma, and especially this area in Elk City, there's a lot of oil field traffic and agriculture, big truck, tractor type traffic that comes up off that interstate on that steep incline for those uh, ramps. and. Uh, uh, would have to stop there on that incline and then come back onto the highway where this lets them just roll right on through and make the turns. The community was really surprised to see the personalization of this uh, state project for just for Elk City and the Elk City Elks and the, the features that were added to it, but that's part of the partnership. The city was willing to contribute some of the funding to have some of these aesthetics placed on there and you know while we're at it, it made, it made a great partnership and turned out to really personalize the project for Elk City and the people here in the community. It's a privilege to have the first DDI, you know. Uh, uh, they could have picked anywhere in the state of Oklahoma, certainly could have picked uh, one of the big interchanges around the Oklahoma City area, and uh, for us to have it uh, is a real honor. We get a lot of I-40 traffic off at that uh, at that uh, bridge right there from, uh, you know, the McDonald's traffic, the Hutch's traffic, uh, the hotels and motels that are in the area, and, and I think it's going to be a real uh, a neat uh, deal to have for Elk City. You know, I've, I, I've actually driven on I-40 uh, to see the elk that are down below, which is a huge part of our, uh, of our city, our, 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 our sports teams. We're the Elk City Elks. Uh, uh, it's, that's really neat with the grass and everything down there. But the old Derricks, I mean, that's a huge part. That's who we are. We're oil and gas country, uh, you know, and in a time where oil and gas is down, maybe this will lift them up a little bit uh, to have something that, uh, you know, says who we are. And, and I think the people that are coming off of uh, I-40, uh, I think they'll, they'll know a little better uh, what makes Elk City tick. I personally am thrilled. I am so excited to have it. Um, it's interesting to me that you consider a intersection or a bridge a piece of art, but it really is. It, it's a piece of art. And um, Elk, I don't know if you know about Elk City, we're a town of 10,000, but we have a trade territory of about 90 miles on three sides, um, north and south and going on west. And uh, so we're kind of like one of the gateways to Oklahoma. We're one of the first when they're, we're traveling in from California or Arizona, we're, you know, like one of the first towns that they see. And so I'm excited about that. I'm excited that they're going to see this art, you know, as they enter into our state. I think it's exciting. It's kind of interesting, a town of 10,000 that last year, and this is with COVID, from June of 19 to June of 20, I think we had over 50,000 visitors to, to our community. We're home of the National Route 66 Museum and we're the gateway to the Washtenaw Battlefield 
bank on mats right across the street from the Route 66 Museum. And I mean, we'll get 3,500 visitors a month in the summer, and they're all Europeans. So it's, it's pretty exciting. And like I said, having that interchange, um, it just naturally flows to our main downtown area, which I think is really exciting for Oak City. I was very, um, I don't know, nervous, shall I say. Um, I was afraid it would, might be confusing and all that. So I have to tell you, the day the bridge opened, my husband and I, we drove over it. And it is kind of like a kid going to the candy store. It's pretty exciting. So, but it's fun. It flows really easy. You know, all that anticipation about how hard it would be, it's really not because it's, it's signed extremely well. But uh, anyway, it's kind of fun to drive across. A lot of Elk Cityans were doing it that day. It was kind of funny. You can tell we're from rural Oklahoma because we just thought it was a great event. My hat's off uh, to all of the workers and all of the planners at the Oklahoma Department of Transportation who brought this project to fruition. Um, we couldn't be happier. The city of Elk City's done a great job. We appreciate them very much, and we appreciate the patience of the traveling public as, as we've gone through this project, and they've done a great job uh, in driving through this project where uh, we kind of did the construction a half at a time. So uh, we just appreciate you, uh, your interest in transportation and viewing this material and, and doing, uh, being around here for our virtual uh, public uh, dedication of our new Diverging Diamond Interchange here in Elk City, Oklahoma and we're looking forward to, to many years of, uh, of using a diverging diamond interchange in Elk City. I'm very excited to be here. Uh, selfishly, I'm glad the very first DDI project like this happens in my district, happens in Elk City, happens in Western Oklahoma, but this is the first design like this, an innovative design like this in the state of Oklahoma, and one of really less than 100 nationwide. So this is a big deal, and I am glad it's here. You know, as a, uh, as a 40 plus year resident of Elk City, uh, raised my kids here, uh, I graduated high school here. I love this town, I love this community, I love the surrounding areas. It's full of good people. And to have something like this project here in Elk City, uh, serving as the uh, ODOT uh, District 5 Commissioner, it just really makes me proud. Uh, I hope this, the, the citizens of Elk City, the citizens, citizens of the surrounding areas, the people that are getting off of I-40, our travelers, where uh, Elk City is a hub and lots and lots of people come here to shop and, and I just think it's gonna be a really neat thing for them to see. We appreciate you joining us for this virtual celebration today. Drive safely, Oklahoma.